Welcome back to another video on my solar. Um, so, thank you everyone for uh, commenting on my uh, previous YouTube video. I know it's been a while and I've been responding to all of your comments. Um, so, I thought I might make another video um, to, to answer some, um, some deeper questions. A lot of people ask me how much sun um, or how much energy do I get um, in the summer? Well, in Melbourne, we our summer is from uh, December to February. Um, so if I uh, show you my, my graphs, um, typically um, on a sunny day, uh, that's um, no cloud cover, um, you know, uh, probably 30 degrees, I'm probably getting about 40 kilowatts. Uh, I'd be lucky to get um, over 40 kilowatts. Um, but around that kind of high 30s and 40s um, would be a typical summer day. Um, I expect that to go down uh, quite a lot um, or quite significantly um, once uh, the, the hot period is over. Um, some other people ask me um, uh, what my return on investment looks like um, and whether it's worth um, getting solar. Look, I think it depends on what you're after. Uh, there's, there's probably a couple of things to consider. One is um, if you can afford um, kind of that six kilowatt range, um, I mean, my return on investment based on what I've already saved so far in the first kind of nine to 10 months is about $750 Australian. Um, and I spent uh, just over $6,000 uh, for my installation. So. Um, that's probably a return on investment of about seven or eight years, I would say. Um, obviously, it doesn't uh, take into account that uh, things will, uh, all the, the panels and the efficiency and everything will deteriorate. Um, I guess we'll see what happens uh, in year two, year three, year four. Um, but in uh, in the meantime, I'm, I'm really enjoying the fact that I get to... Um, yeah, have negative bills and uh, use the the power that I'm generating from the sun um, and uh, sitting in aircon uh, without feeling uh, guilty about my bills. Um, other people have asked about um, the orientation. Uh, mine's an east-west setup, so it's not ideal, um, but. Um, but yeah, I have uh, most of my panels on the west, um, less on the east, mainly because um, we would uh, run a lot of our appliances and washing and things like that in the afternoon. So it depends on um, uh, what, what you're looking for. Um, certainly the smart meter I think was uh, worth investing in um, because it gives you a lot more details of your, your current usage. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have any further questions, if you if you want to continue tracking kind of uh, progress, uh, feel free to subscribe or feel free to to uh, to comment below. Um, I'm pretty active with replying, um, and I'll get back to you uh, about my experience, and hopefully it can help you on your solar journey. All right.